All right, everybody, welcome back to Software Gore. Uh, speaking of which, a few minutes ago when I initiated this recording for the first time, as soon as I hit the record key, my computer crashed. Like, all the USB ports just stopped working, so... I felt that was kind of fitting, right? <laughs> Given the subreddit. Anyway, this video is brought to you by our sponsors, the Like Button. YouTube occasionally has bugs and glitches, so you should test out the Like Button, make sure it's working, and also QCAthletics.com for quality content hats. If you're interested, check it out. They're pretty slick. Link in the description. Let's start off with number 19. Go to Germany or stay in Germany. I can't decide. Update store. You are browsing in the Germany store. Please return to your home store and restart your task. Go to Germany, stay in Germany. <laughs> Hmm, this is a very hard decision. To Germany or to Germany? That is the question. What are they trying to say? What are they, I can't browse the Germany store if I want to? So if I don't want to browse the Germany store, you don't want me to? I have to go to Germany or stay there instead? Not really giving me a whole lot of options here, huh? Are you now? Not very nice of you. Not very good hospitality to try to boot me out to the same store. I opened Hulu and it's been stuck like this. Hank Hill's watching. Is he supposed to be blue there? Is that part of the graphic or did the color shift when it opened up and that's a bug in and of itself? I used to have a thing when I, I would turn on my Game Boy Color and every now and again it would completely shift the color palette of the whole thing. And I still have never gotten an answer as to whether or not that was a feature on the Game Boy Color or if I had a uniquely bugged Game Boy Color and I should have held on to it and then sold it for millions of dollars. Imagine how much someone would be willing to pay for a Game Boy Color that would occasionally shift the entire color palette on you with some strange bug. It was really cool, though, because every time I got a different color palette than I had seen in the past, I was like, ooh, this must be a rare one. It was like getting a shiny Pokemon because I'd be playing Pokemon on it. And I don't think I ever caught a shiny. Did they even exist in first gen? I don't think they did. Hmm, cool. Age restricted. You must be 18 years old to use Tinder. Don't worry, you'll be joining us soon. In the meantime, enjoy your youth. Negative two days left. It's... They might just have, like, they were trying to look for an excuse to prevent you from lots of heartbreak. So they just, they thought they could get away with the age one, but then unfortunately, they just, they couldn't continue the lie. The math just didn't work out. They realized you were 18, but they were just like, they're just trying to stop you from, from having your heart broken by bots, okay? They just didn't want you to stroll across a bot who you really thought was great and then all of a sudden you message and then it replies with an advertisement to something and you were like, my entire life is a lie now and I'm very upset about this. I thought you were the one, but in fact, you're just a computer and that makes me sad. Somehow my PC managed to get 1500 plus FPS in Far Cry. A few seconds later, the game crashed. You know, what's really cool is that if it's a completely stationary image, your computer can usually get really, really high FPS. Like in Minecraft, you're, you're looking at a frozen, block in the middle of void like you're just standing on a, a single stone block and the entire rest of the world is is nothing like you'll get very very high fps and then if you crash even higher fps because there's not much processing that has to go on at this point so anyway or maybe you actually maybe you just upgraded to the 3000 series cards with nvidia i don't know maybe you got that preview 3090 or something you're really getting 1500 fps speaking of which i do need to upgrade my computer at some point my processor is really the bottleneck right now and i gotta but i have to replace the motherboard because it's old architecture and it's just like ugh. <sighs> sometime soon man i'm fit but wow wow you've you've gone 42,950 kilometers. That's impressive. That's like the entire circumference of the Earth. I wonder. It would be really cool if humans could have odometers. I don't know why I hadn't thought about that before. I suppose if you had worn a watch since you were the day you were born up until now, which is going to probably become a thing that actually happens for people, given the way technology is going, there's going to be some device that's, you know, put on the baby the day it's born, and then it's going to track the distance traveled. But, like, I wonder... Outside of actually being in cars and being on planes and stuff, like how far have I actually personally walked? What is my human odometer? And the cool thing about a human odometer is that a higher mileage odometer would actually be seen as like pretty cool. You've actually gone and done a lot of exercise. You've walked, you've explored, as opposed to like a car where people are like, oh, that's way high mileage. I don't want to collect that one. Or, hey, it's really high mileage, so you can give it to me for cheaper because, you know, it's old and probably needs more mechanical work. You know, human odometer being high is actually, like, good for you. Anyway, I digress, but just a thought. The smooth criminal of drop-down boxes. 
I mean, that's that's actually pretty cool. That's a little bit of like three dimensional perspective. What did they build the birth date selection screen in Unity or something? They added like, oh, you know what we can do? We can make these some 3D elements in here so that it just adds a little bit of spice. No one likes those just 2D vertical drop down menus. We should have it so that we actually spawn a player in a three dimensional world and they get to walk down a path that has the age selection as the things that they're walking on. And then you jump when you're on the tile, which corresponds to your birth month, day, and, and year. See, wouldn't that be cool and interactive and completely unnecessary? Absolutely. You fell asleep? Emergency alert. National Weather Service. Storm surge warning is in effect for the area. Urgently complete efforts to uh, begin urgently complete. Ah, uh, you see what happened here is the storm surge arrived as the warning was being typed out and it just fried the keyboard and then sent the message. That's the only logical explanation here. Do you want to not toast it or would you like to toast your life? Would you like your order toasted? No, don't toast. Or <laughs> that, whatever that is. Your food's gonna look like that when it comes out. We basically put it into a human cremation machine and then we leave it in there for about an hour and by the time it comes out, then it looks like, yes, please toast. And I don't, I don't know what that, I don't know what that is there, but it looks very toasted. It's got so many different colors in it that I didn't even know happened when you toast something. It's like, it goes black and then beyond that, you start getting the rainbow once you go beyond black. So I was trying to install Ubuntu on my late 2006 iMac and yeah, it looks like everything has, has gone great for you. This is probably what would happen if I tried to do something that involves Ubuntu, which I'm probably pronouncing incorrectly, because that just, I see that and I'm like, I don't really know what it is, but the only time I've ever heard it is in relation to people who are programming things. And um, I feel like just the simple idea of using and installing it would probably be a little bit above my pay grade, let alone making use of it. So, looks like my assumptions might in fact be correct. So, no head? Uh, no. No head. Is this, what is this? What game? Is this Call of Duty? Oh no, PUBG, it says there in the upper left hand corner. Well, on the plus side, see, if you don't have a head, then you don't have a way to get headshot, which is a way that you take even more damage than if you take shots to the other parts. So, honestly, this should be a, this could be a massive pay to win offering that they could do here in the game. They'd be like, well, if you just want to you just get rid of your character's head. If you don't want to get a headshot, you just don't have a head. And then thousand bucks, easy. Hill climb challenge level generator failed a bit. Challenge, drive 4,600 meters. I've never played this game before, but it looks pretty swick. Oh, hmm. Looks like I'm not able to go through here. I mean, is this, are we not playing Minecraft? Can I not just mine through the dirt? Does that, does it not work? No? Okay, so that's lame. That machine should have some kind of drill mechanism on it. It looks made for that. Can you imagine, like, look, that thing should have some kind of pointy, spinny thing on it. That'd be perfect. And then you could have a whole other element to your game. You could bring the Minecraft element into climbing hills and just think of all the money there is to be had. I say when this game is probably grossing millions a day or something. What in tarnation? Oh, do we have a, another flight simulator glitch here? Always gotta love those. What a nice view. God. Hey, you know what? This seems like it's actually good for your takeoff, though. That's gonna that's gonna help you get taken off, dude. Perfect. Perfect, bro. And you're in the air. Who needs a runway when you have a void that takes you to the other side of the earth? This is pretty freaking cool. With a bunch of tree obstacles on it to try to avoid. It reminds me of the dropper map that I played a year or two ago where it was like you're falling but it looked like it was horizontal oh oh this doesn't that doesn't look good at the end there I think what happened is like you got so far deep into the earth that the pressure started getting a little bit too high you started getting woozy the plane was just getting crushed there was so much air pressure down there that you were absolutely unable to handle it you passed out and then you crashed outside the other side of the world. It's pretty cool. Dang, these next-gen laptops are lit fam. PC features. 
NVIDIA GeForce GTX 0. Display 0. Intel Core i0. <laughs> Storage 0. Memory 0. But you do, yeah, 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 actually there's a 5 there. You have 0.5 gears. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty awesome. That's what I had in my first laptop I ever owned. It was a it was a 500, or it was like 600 megahertz actually. I think it was a 600 megahertz processor. And it had 500 megabytes of RAM. Anyone who's older than me watching this is like, that's nothing, bro. I had like a, I had a 16K computer or something like that. But at the same time, like in comparison to what there is now, it's crazy. And my computer baseline requires like eight gigs of RAM now just for basic functionality of on boot. That's where I'm at, which seems very high. Maybe that's bad, but I guess Chrome is a bit of a memory hog and I have some background programs going on. But in any case, the, you know, the way things are going, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a an NVIDIA GTX Zero series card at some point. You know, you got Xbox One, Battlefield One, everyone's going to the One brand. Where do you go from there? Zero? Negatives? Windows is having an existential crisis. An unexpected error is keeping you from deleting the file. If you continue to receive this error, you can use this error code to search to help you with this problem. Error. The file exists. Therefore, it cannot be removed. This is... This is a very important file. You could try deleting System32 instead. We'll let you do that. But this image, mm -mm. can't get rid of this. We like it. I think I turned on helicopter mode on my laptop by accident. CPU fan is at looking like beyond maximum integer value RPM. That's impressive. That thing, <laughs> I'm surprised you're able to contain it. It should be blasting off into outer space. For I guess at some point, you know, once the air thins out enough, it's gonna stop going, but you know what? At that RPM, it might actually just hit escape velocity and just fly out of the atmosphere. Actually, it might be too fast, and it's gonna hit so much friction with the air that it's it's just gonna incinerate itself. That's impressive. Well, kudos to the devs. Password, blank strength is, is very high. Password this, strength is very low. Hey, to be fair, I've never, I've never used a password of nothing for a website before. That'd be the last thing you'd be expecting as a, as a hacker. You'd be like, what if I just hit enter with nothing in the password field? No, you would never expect it to be the case. You would expect it to error out, so you wouldn't even try it. That's truly next level 200 IQ thinking right there. Default help message. Amazon delivery driver needs help with your order. Yada yada. Unfortunately, your order couldn't be delivered. You can track your package order, or you track your order on your orders pages. Text session will close in five minutes. Are you still there? Default help message. Thank you. Thank you for this. Hey, at least, you know, this was a year ago. So I hope you were able to get your order between then and and now. If not, well, maybe maybe they posted this because they've been going back and forth with Amazon for the last year and finally it was like this isn't working. I guess I guess I'll show the public that I wasn't able to get my Amazon order from a year ago. I never heard back from Face All. It's very sad. Nobody knows what happens to him. He kind of just disappeared into another dimension. Never to be seen again. Uh, just got this ad. Do Har at App Store Google Play. Very, very beautiful photo that definitely doesn't look at all like either Thanos Chin or Jigsaw from, from Saw. It actually looks a lot like the Saw character, which is slightly scary. I'm sure she has a really great smile. It just happened to get stretched a bit too far and um, definitely makes me want to download the game. It's probably not a horror game, but it certainly looks that way. And the top, for the last month, iOS is making one of my Memojis do, I don't know if that's demonetized or not. Um, it, it, it would appear that it, it, has, it has done that. I don't, I don't know how that has happened, but it, it has done do and, and there you, there you have. There, there you have, indeed, software gore. Um, anyway, that's that's it for the last month of software gore. I hope you have enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more software gore. And sub to the channel. Hit the bell even if you are subbed. And uh, hats, again, qcathletics.com. And if you want to check out the last software gore video, you can click here. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Interactive elements. Click on the... Yep, you get it. All right, you might be there right now. But if you're listening, then you're not. But click it. Okay, see you there.